to another Blue Dog photography and video blog. Really glad you could join us again. Well, news this week is Adobe have announced Photoshop 6. It is now available for purchase and apparently they've also increased their protection against piracy, which is great news. Nikon's D800 also won the Camera GP 2012 Award and Reader's Award for Best Camera of the Year. Canon has apparently announced that it's now automating some of its uh, production line to cut costs. And one thing I was a little bit excited about was Leica actually launched their new um, monochrome, M monochrome camera. Um, it's a fully dedicated black and white camera. Now I've been very keen on the M9 for a little while and this camera apparently only shoots black and white. The basic kit is rep reportedly going to be on sale for about $7,950 here in Australia. So it's not just an average buy, one I'd be really keen to have a play with. Also this week we had a huge response to the announcement of our Japanese tour, which we're still finalising all the details. Thanks everybody for the comments on my Japanese or lack of uh, pronunciation. Um, I must admit I'm really looking forward to doing the Rec Tour. I'll be doing a whole trip in November designed specifically around the tour that has been planned for Japan in autumn so I can't wait to bring you some of those images. I'm going to hand over to Sharon now because by the time the vlog comes to you I'll actually be out at Bunyanderi and she's going to announce this week's themed challenge winner of the Blue Dog Photo Planet Challenge. This week's challenge was opulence. Over to you Sharon. Thanks Danielle. The challenge this fortnight was opulence and Ian won with this image. Another great entry and another great round of entries from everyone. Keep up the great work and we really do enjoy seeing them. Thanks for that Sharon. Aren't you guys really happy about our new video component and what they can do as I'm sipping away at a nice hot chocolate. This week as well I'm really pleased to give you the two dates that you've been waiting for of our new workshops. The first is our Seeing uh, Creatively which will be on the 14th of July up here at Tambourine and the second one is our Street Photography which will be on the 21st of July in Fortitude Valley. Now I'm really pleased to announce Lisa Kurtz is coming along and joining me as a guest tutor. This is great. Lisa's an awesome photographer and I look forward to introducing you to Lisa next week in a very special vlog. Thanks to everyone for attending last week's beginner workshops and also for those who attended the special workshop of Anita at our Brisbane at dusk where she did a little bit of steel wool burning. I'd like to say a special thank you to Nikki for sending in this image. I think it's an awesome one from last week's workshop. Also last week we released the very first of our Rainforest video tutorials. Have you had a chance to check it out yet? If not, click the link below. As you can most probably tell, winter is starting to creep in here down in the Southern Hemisphere and we're already approaching mid-autumn, so it's starting to get rather cold. Now, the thing with cold weather is that you do need to protect your camera gear. So I'm going to give you a couple of top tips on how to do that. One of the most important things to do is actually to protect your camera gear from condensation. The damage of condensation, I can assure you, can be permanent and really costly. And that's not something we want. The first thing to do is make sure that when you bring your bag in, that you're allowing that temperature change to happen very, very slowly. So we don't want to go from a really, really cold environment to a really warm environment or vice versa. That's when condensation can start to happen and causes the environment for things like mould to grow within your lenses. The other thing is to make sure, and if I open up this camera bag, I'm sure I'll be able to give you an example, is that you have heaps of silica packets. Basically, if I take my camera out, the whole bottom of my camera bag is lined with silica gel packets. Now these absorb the, the um, moisture 
in my in my camera bag and really help to reduce that environment where where condensation can start to happen a quick top tip here is to go shoe shopping they come free in packets of shoes okay so what's coming up this week well this week we this week I'm off to Bungandere for an artist retreat camp out there for five days so looking forward to that and catching up with Annabelle we have a sunset and star trail workshop on Sunday night uh, we also have a get to know your camera on Sunday at New Farm Park with Anita plus Sharon is doing a mums and bubs so the mums can bring their bubs along and learn how to photograph them at the Gold Coast on Wednesday as well and next Sunday I'm really looking forward to returning to Currumbin Wildlife Sanctuary where we will be doing our bird shoot and our reptile shoot. Now these are both exclusive shoots, they're only open to six people. Um, the cost of the workshop gets the full day pass into the, into the sanctuary and it is a really individual time with the animals, the handlers and your camera gear to get some great shots. Last week's question on the vlog was, what was your favourite lens? Well, the 24 to 71 outright, and I have to say it's one of my favourite lenses for travelling. The 28 to 200 was a close second, with the 28 to 300 being very close to being third. So that was really interesting. This week's question that I'd like to ask you is, if there was a national park you could travel to in the world, what would it be and why? Why do you want to go there? Post your comment below and we'll tally them all up at the end of the week. Thank you very much for all your comments below. We're trying to get to your questions but we really do appreciate those comments. Well I'm Danielle Lancaster and thank you for watching another one of Blue Dog's photography and travel vlogs this week. I might go and join Tilly, make another hot chocolate but I do have to let you know that next week's vlog, if all goes to plan, will be coming from a pretty cool location. So catch up with you then guys and have a great weekend of photography.